Um, so this summer, specifically with funding from the Hughes Grant, um, what we're working on is we have a number of, well, we have one particular host gene, a gene um, that we know controls movement of this yeast virus. Um, that's, we cloned this gene because it controls move, movement of this yeast virus. But we don't know what the host cell function of the gene is. We don't know what its function is in the yeast cell. And so what I'm specifically working with is determining how different genes that we know exist in yeast and um, exist in humans function to move this element, the retrotransposon, throughout the yeast cell. And so basically what I do is I will fluorescently tag this gene and look at it under the microscope to see where it localizes. So it gives us a really good clue as to um, what genes are doing what to this viral protein, where is it going, what is it doing, and why. The students are doing all the research work. We've been doing a lot of following the proteins within the yeast cell. We tag the proteins with fluorescent markers, so they actually look like they glow under the microscope. They light up, they look fluorescent, and so we can follow where they're at in the cell. So they do a lot of fluorescence microscopy. I'm basically looking at orphan genes within the genome, and I'm working on working with Dr. Keeney to create a pipeline process of how to get these genes classified. So we delete the gene and we put the gene into a vector, and then we can put that vector into the yeast cells, and we can look at the phenotypes that the yeast cells show after you put that deleted gene into them and determine like if they're essential or not by if the cells die afterwards. I have published with students in the past um, and it depends on where the project is when the students are coming and going and um, where we're at in the writing process. That would be an awesome accomplishment to be able to say that you know some of my work was a, you know published in a, in a really good journal so I think it would be really exciting and that's something I'm definitely working towards. Yes, I love research. <laughs>